Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about finding off-market properties using resources that we as realtors all have or have the opportunity or ability to invest in. So um, if you've ever gotten a client that has like a very, very unique need or they really love a certain community, but there's hardly ever any property that like actually comes available on the market, then these are probably the strategies that you should use in order to help your clients find and secure a property. That was water. So I recently came in contact with a lady um, via Google ads, she reached out to me about some properties in a very specific area, like literally a 10 mile radius. And not only did she want a property there, she also wanted a property in a gated community. As you can see, my, my pool of options has significantly dwindled based on her criteria. And you know, she doesn't have to move. This isn't a second home for her, but she really, really does want it, but she also has the time frame where it's not necessary that she necessarily, it's, it's not necessary for her to purchase this property within like two months or something. She doesn't have a time frame that makes it urgent. It's more of just a, a want right now, but I can still help her during this. So not only do I have her set up on a automatic search so that she's going to get emails as soon as something in that 10 mile radius pops up on market. I'm also going to use some other strategies and that's what I am excited to show you today. So these strategies, by the way, they are time consuming, but it's also a great way for you to find other business too. The first one that we're gonna talk about is finding expired or canceled listings from a few years ago. So if there's been any within the past, honestly, I would go back probably five years and I would pull any property that has been canceled or expired within that time frame. And of course, I would also want to make sure that it hasn't sold since. It's a very time consuming process, but the ones that you are able to narrow down from that, the properties, there's a really good chance that they would at least consider an offer. So once you get that list, what you wanna do next is skip trace it. So there's a couple of different platforms that you can use. Um, I think Mojo, PropStream is what I use, but there there's so many. Google their names even, and you'd be surprised what you could find. Keep your, keep your information safe, people. There's a lot of things you can find out about people out there. I often Google people, so just so you know. So once you get their phone numbers or their contact information, whatever, I would give them a call. So I found that when you do call this list, it's best to just be upfront with them. So I say, hey, I'm reaching out about your home at blah, 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 because I think it would actually be a really good fit for my client. And I was wondering if you had any interest in selling that property in the next, say, six months or so. Typically, you can gauge whether or not someone would actually consider an offer. I would love the opportunity to preview, preview your home so that I can learn whether or not this is actually a good option for my client. Do you have some time? Blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Great. And then if your client is actually interested in that property, you are the best agent in the world. Odds are your client is probably not interested in that property or the seller would possibly want like a higher amount than what the buyer is willing to pay. It, it's unfortunately not as easy as what I just said, <laughs> but that is a really great opportunity to possibly, you know, secure a home for your client or if nothing else, get a listing lead for you, someone who eventually would want to sell their home. So that's um, a way that I have helped my clients in the past. It is worth it to mail to them too. Um, if you've ever he heard of the golden letter, that's a really great one where you literally just mail the, um, the homeowner and say, I have a client who's interested in your property. Please give me a call so we can discuss if it's a good fit for them. 
and then you just sign your name and usually it's handwritten or something like that too um a, an agent with Keller Williams Jenny Wolick um came up with that one and that has helped a lot of people get listings in the past too a lot of people use these tactics to get listings but you are literally just combing through the data and targeting specific areas it's nice to be able to handpick and be like i know exactly what you want this is it and then they're like that's it that's perfect how did you know because i listened to you and because i i want you to be happy in your home and that's about it so nothing life-changing or life-altering no strategy that you probably haven't heard of before but instead of just circle prospecting a certain area to see if you can magically find someone that is interested in selling and call hundreds of numbers just narrow it down to people that have already raised their hand and said i want to sell at some point work smarter not harder my friends but i love to strategize with other agents and figure out what's working well for other people so that i can rinse and repeat it's a crazy market out there it's changing so much but if we're working together even if it's in different markets it's good to make sure that we are supporting each other i also want to say this too i i really do think that our the landscape of real estate is changing even just as a real estate agent and being a real estate agent so i feel like there may be a time where sellers don't necessarily pay the buyer's agent commission anymore in which case we would have to go to our buyers and ask them to pay our commission so this is just a way for you to create that value proposition and i hope that you found that helpful and if you have any tactics or strategies that have been working for you as a real estate agent please comment them below and if there's any other tactics that you want me to kind of break down for you or strategies that I use to get leads um please let me know because I would love to share that with you but I am gonna leave you for now and I'll talk to you soon bye